In this video, we're gonna cover the easiest way to go viral on TikTok right now, especially if you're a small account. If you're a small account on TikTok right now, it is easier than it ever has been before to go viral so long as you implement the things that I share with you in this video. That being said, I'm gonna go through a list of mistakes later on in this video, and if you're just making just one of these mistakes, it's going to be the reason that you are failing to go viral right now, and if you simply fix that thing, it'll help you get more views, more followers, and ultimately, you'll be able to hit your goals on TikTok. I just helped this creator gain 100,000 followers in just 30 days, this creator 200,000, and this creator over 300,000 and the same exact thing can happen to you if you simply implement the tips that I share with you in this video. That being said, before I dive into the video, I need you to smash the subscribe button. If you want to grow quicker on TikTok, Instagram, or YouTube, I literally upload a video about how to grow on these platforms every single day. In addition to that, I created a free TikTok growth course. You can get the link in the pinned comment below. It's going to share with you things like the best hashtags you use right now, which unfortunately I'm not going to have time to cover in this video. And please, here's my phone number. Hit me up. I want to hear from you. I want to help you grow quicker on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. If you have questions about any of those platforms, and why you're not growing or how I can help you grow more, please shoot me a text message. That being said, 25% of your posts right now on TikTok should not be new posts. You heard that right. They shouldn't be new posts. Three out of every four posts should be a new post, but one out of every four should be a repost. And yes, you should be reposting your old content on TikTok. This is the most underrated thing that you could do on TikTok, especially for large creators or small creators that have seen some success before. But there are a few rules when it comes to reposting. One, you want to wait at least 72 hours in between reposts. Two, you don't want to delete the original video when you repost. Three, you cannot repost somebody else's piece of content. Let me say it again. You cannot repost somebody else's piece of content. If you want to use somebody else's piece of content, you can do at it. You can stitch it. You cannot repost it. This is not Instagram. You're not going to be able to get away with doing that. And if you do that, your account is going to be striked as copyright and you are going to get less views on your future videos. And you could even get device banned on TikTok. So please do not make the mistake of doing that. That being said, when it comes to reposting your content, you also don't want to repost the same video more than four or five times. It's going to decrease the amount of views that you're getting from that. And one of the biggest hesitations that I see creators have when it comes to reposting. They say, Rob, I don't want to repost because then people are going to complain and they're going to unfollow. That is not the case. 99.9% .9 of people, if you are doing the right thing on TikTok, have never seen your post before, have never seen your content before, and didn't see that post when you originally posted it, which is exactly why you need to repost it. It's going to decrease the amount of time that you're actually spending creating content. It's going to make your life way easier and you're going to have more time to implement everything else that I share with you in this video, which ultimately is going to help you go viral. The second thing that you need to make sure that you're doing right now is sticking to the best lengths on TikTok. The three best lengths for you to be posting under are going to be 60 seconds, 21 to 34 seconds, and then also five to 11 seconds. Those are the three best lengths on TikTok. And you need to understand something about the TikTok algorithm because it has been recently changing. In the past, the TikTok algorithm broke things out just based off a niche and just based off a topic. For example, if you were a fitness creator and you made a video about biceps, that would get more views than a video about triceps because more people were interested in biceps. Now, the way that they're breaking it out is both based on the topic and based on the length. So within the fitness niche, there are different topics that people are interested in, but then there are also different lengths for each of those topics that people are interested in. Let me give you an example here. If you're creating videos about biceps and fitness, well then guess what? A five second video might get X amount of views. A 30 second video might get X amount of views and a 60 second video might get X amount of views. It's your job to figure out within your niche, which one of those video lengths out of the three best ones that I share with you is what's going to allow you to get the most views. And then you need to pound that thing. If you already know this because you have several posts that have done really good in the last seven days, 14 days, then you need to make sure that you continue to talk about those topics, create content about those topics. I strongly suggest you do a part two, part three, part four for any video that's done really well. And also make sure that you're making your videos the same length. Even having one second difference in the length can be the difference between you going viral and you not going viral. I've seen this happen to so many different creators and I know I use fitness as an example, but this applies to every single niche, be it fashion, be it anime, all of these different things, you need to make sure that your videos are both the right length and about the right topic. That being said, just posting about the right topic or posting the right length is not going to be the only thing that you need to do right now if you're trying to go viral. You also need to make sure that you're taking advantage of the features that TikTok is posting right now. Right now, TikTok is not pushing lives. TikTok is not pushing stitches. TikTok is not pushing duets. Now, of course, you could make one of those types of content and it could do really well, but just talking when it comes to the average content creator, creating content like that is not going to help you get more views. Instead, the two things that are helping you get more views are one, five-second trends that have a trending sound and 
two green screen stickers. Both of those things are going to help you get more views. If you're trying to spend less time creating content on TikTok, then I strongly suggest that you begin implementing those two tactics into your content because ultimately they're going to help you get more views. They're going to help you get more followers and they could make you go viral putting in almost no effort. Which brings me to the next point of this video. Before I get into the most important part of the video, the number one thing that you need to make sure that you're doing, we need to cover so many mistakes that creators are making. First and foremost, a lot of creators on this platform that are failing to go viral or that have gone viral in the past and haven't been able to go viral again, it's because you are trying to go viral every single time that you post. This is one of the biggest mistakes that you can make. Instead, you should just be trying to find out what topics work. Once you know what topic works, then you can put all your effort into creating a really good piece of content. But way too many of you are spending way too much time putting effort into creating content that just isn't going to pay off. And to be honest, you're completely wasting your time. You guys should be creating short piece of content, tactical piece of content, because here's the deal. When it comes to TikTok, it's not really hard to go viral. In fact, it's the easiest platform in the world to go viral on if you simply make content about the right topic and get enough watch time. That being said, the reason that a lot of you guys aren't going viral is not because you're not getting enough watch time or not because you're not putting enough effort into your content. It's simply because you're not doing the due diligence and seeing what topics actually work on TikTok or you're making your videos the wrong length for that actual topic, which gets back to what we were talking about earlier in the video. And this is one of the biggest mistakes that I see creators make. The other mistake that I see so many creators make, they're posting at the wrong time. Now, I don't have time to cover the best time to post on TikTok right now in this video. But again, if you go to the link in the pinned comment below, in my free course, I have a video about the best time to be posting on TikTok that I strongly suggest you check out because posting at the wrong time is hurting so many of you. The final thing that a lot of you guys are doing wrong, you guys are still putting a call to action in every single video or in not that many videos. It should only be in 25% of your videos or 30%. It really doesn't matter. So one out of every four, one out of every three posts needs to have a call to action in it. If you're still doing it in every video, you're making a mistake. And if you're not doing it all, you're missing out on so many followers and the potential odds of you going viral. Now, the final mistake that I see creators making, they're deleting posts. Stop deleting posts on TikTok. It is killing your reach. You guys need to understand, TikTok does not want to push out creators that are keep deleting their posts. So please do not be making that mistake. Now, this brings me to the last point of this video, which is where you could be finding viral content ideas. There are essentially two different ways, and the last way that I share with you is by far the easiest. The first is you need to come up with a list of small creators within your niche that actually sometimes create good content. These aren't gonna be the creators that have go viral every single time that they post, but occasionally they might get 100,000 views, 50,000 views, a million views. You need to keep track of these people, 10 to 20 of them, which means at least one of them will be going viral a week, and this will give you a new viral topic every single week that you should be creating content on. Again, look at how long the post was, look at what the actual topic of the post was. Now, the other thing that you need to make sure that you're doing, I would strongly recommend either creating a burner TikTok account or doing it on your own TikTok account, ideally, where you only interact with creators within your niche. What this is going to do is going to curate your For You page to show you only content that's doing well in your niche and specific only content from small creators that are doing well in your niche. If you actually look at your For You page, the majority of the videos out there are not these big time creators. The majority of videos you see are not verified creators. They're not creators with 500,000, a million followers followers. In fact, a lot of them are small creators because TikTok does a really good job at pushing out small creators that are creating good content. That being said, you also need to understand something. When it comes to going viral on TikTok, the majority of posts going viral right now are actually two weeks old. They aren't posts that are being created today unless it's about a topic that's time sensitive, unless it's about a topic that is currently going viral. For a lot of you, your posts won't go viral for a week, two weeks, three weeks, even four weeks. And the reason being is because that topic is either one, too flooded right now, or you don't have enough watch time under that topic, or you just chose the wrong topic like I shared with you before. But if you want to change all of that, you want to get guaranteed followers on TikTok, you want to make it way easier for you to go viral on TikTok, well, then I need you to keep watching this video because I'm going to share with you exactly how we could work together. I can tell you exactly what to post, how long your video should be, what time you should be posting, what hashtags you should be using. I could critique your content to guarantee that you get more followers on TikTok, just like all the creators that I share with you in this video. If that sounds interesting. Well, then keep watching this video. The opportunity to grow on TikTok and this organic reach is not going to last forever. And the only thing separating you from the creators that I mentioned in this video is one, that you haven't implemented the steps from this video yet. And two, you haven't gotten into my mentorship program where I literally guarantee that I can help you grow on TikTok. If you register for this program, I'm gonna tell you exactly what to post, when to post, what hashtags to use, and I'm gonna critique your content for 30 days in order to guarantee that you grow on TikTok. You heard that right. If you don't grow on TikTok in this program, you get your money back, zero questions asked. The average person that has joined the program in the last 30 days gained over 50,000 followers and 
end, the lowest amount of followers anybody has ever gained in the program is 6,500 followers. If you want results like that, and I'm guessing that since you're still watching this video, you're probably above average, so you'll probably see more than 50,000 followers in just 30 days, no matter what niche you're in, no matter what background you're from, none of that stuff matters. The only thing that matters is you need a social media coach. You need somebody telling you what to post, when to post, what hashtags to use, so that you get results faster and you get results a lot easier. If that sounds interesting, go to the link in the description below. There are limited spots available and the price is gonna be going up in 2022, so please make sure you check this out. This is the same exact program Joel Magician used to gain over 16 million followers, that AvMoves used to gain over 14 million followers, that Tuvok used to gain over 10 million followers, and thousands of other creators. I'm telling you guys, this opportunity is not going to last forever. If you wanna take advantage of TikTok, you need to invest in, I'm telling you guys, this opportunity is not going to last forever. If you wanna take advantage of TikTok, you need to invest in this before the price goes up, before there are no spots available, so that you can guarantee that you grow on TikTok. At the end of the day, you have absolutely nothing to lose. You're either going to grow on TikTok or you are gonna get your money back, zero questions asked. Go to the link in the description and sign up right now before spots run out. And by the way, if you're not interested in that, just check out the two videos I'm gonna put up on the screen because they're the videos that YouTube thinks you should watch next. Thank you so much for watching.